Hey guys, it's Vinny. And this is Joe. With episode 111 behind us, the big story of the day is the power that Jiren displayed. And it becomes very important because there's no doubt about it. There's always been talk about the power levels of the Dragon Ball universe. Even with those of different universes out there, like, for example, Marvel or DC. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like to talk about it so much, but there is a connection there, and people always like to talk about, well, who's more powerful than who? And there's no doubt in my mind that Toriyama is taking the Dragon Ball universe and the power levels therein to new heights that rival those and even exceed those of some of the greatest uh, characters of the Marvel and DC universe. And the best picture we're getting now is the power that Jiren is displaying. And in this episode, Joe and I want to take a look at the fact that Jiren has revealed very clearly that even as a mortal, I mean supposed mortal, at least at this point, unless there's, you know, some things that we don't know yet, that he has a power that is universal in strength, Um, meaning that it goes beyond uh, simply the normal three-dimensional power. He can move beyond the three dimensions in his power level. And there's some things that we've been told that reveal that to us, which is really important. But that's going to be very important for Goku's power level because Goku has and will eventually meet and likely exceed Jiren. So if Jiren is at that place, Goku must and will reach that place and likely exceed that place. So the 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 time that everyone's been waiting for, Goku's level to reach the heights of the greatest characters of all time as fighters is going to happen. It will happen and Toriyama is doing it. I think he's doing it on purpose to say, "Listen, this is my a universe that I've created here and my characters will meet and match the characters of other universes out there and Jiren has shown us that he is a universal powerhouse he, he really has and so the very first um, indication that we got of that is the ver- is the fact that we were told straight out that just his presence shook the void shook the void and now there's no definite on what the void is but the idea here, the, the, the sense here is, is that his mere presence shakes the void almost of eternity in a sense. That the void, not, not just matter, but that which is not matter, that is within the void of matter, was shaken by his mere presence. Um, it, it gets a little strange and a little weird when you talk about these things, but it's an indication that his power is exceeds the three dimensions simply by his presence. And that brings us to episode 111, where we start to consider, is Jiren, this whole thing of shaking the void, does this mean that he transcends time? Does Jiren's power transcend time? And there's no doubt about it now, because Hit's attack on Jiren, it's not a simple force field. That's not what he's doing. He's not putting a force field around Jiren, and it's really hard for Jiren to walk through the force field. Hit's attack, he is locking Jiren away in time. That's what he's doing. He is literally putting him in a different time. He's locking him in time. It's it's sort of hard to consider what this means. But if Jiren is going to do anything, he needs to be able to transcend time. And he shows that in two different ways. First, we see Jiren walking through it. I mean, he is locked away in time and he's walking towards Hit through this thing, which in itself is showing that he can master time itself but beyond that hit realizes i got a big problem here and he goes to attack jiren and then jiren prevents his attack as he's locked in away in time by hit's other attack meaning that he can prevent attacks through time so he can walk through this time barrier and he can prevent attacks through this time barrier then he broke the time barrier because he broke that barrier that was put on him he crushes hits attack with his hand and then basically begins to destroy hit on the spot so this is very important and what it shows us about jiren because jiren's powers transcend time and his very presence shakes the void This is important about Jiren's power, but I think more important for us with Goku's power because Goku has and will and likely will exceed these things, which means 
Yes, uh, fans of DBZ, he will be a universal power and perhaps even multi-universal powerhouse by the end of this tournament. I don't think there's a doubt about it. And also, going into Jiren's abilities, um, you can actually see through other attacks that he's been doing that it actually seems to have transcend time. Um, in this latest episode, we see when Jiren is getting attacked by Hit, he puts up this barrier and you get to see his eyes turn yellow. Now, we've seen his eyes turn different colors and they do special attacks. And I feel like these attacks maybe are attacks that transcend the power of time altogether. That's why he's able to use them and power them. And people can't even see them. When he used his red eye power, it was such fast punches that nobody was even able to see it. Maybe because it was outside of time. And also maybe with his blue attack... That seems to be like a force wave that comes out of him. Maybe he's storing up power that just burst out after like storing up through time outside of it. So you don't even get to see him doing that. So you can actually see through all this that Jiren just has these abilities that are beyond anything. That are outside of people's understanding. That nobody can see or understand because they are beyond time. They are beyond space. They just have this power to them and nobody can face it. Nobody can deal with it. But we did see Goku actually dealing with it when he was at Ultra Instinct where he did his red attack and he was actually dodging it for some reason. We don't know how he's doing it. Goku didn't even really know how he's doing it. But he can actually take those attacks that transcend time and space and actually block it or defend against or dodge it so even Goku is sort of I feel getting to that point where even with time and space being broken by Jiren Goku can actually handle it in his instinct form it's important to understand what Goku is doing in his ultra instinct form here because if Jiren is operating beyond the physical world uh, into different dimensions almost dimensions beyond what what fighters should be able to go into if Goku in his ultimate instinct form is able to not only defend but attack against those things it shows you something about what's happening with Goku here he's he's operating at such a high level that even uh fighters like a, like Jiren who are beyond the normal space and matter he can defend and attack against it just says something big and I think it's important for us to know that all of the greatest attacks that we've seen up until this point are really nothing in compared to what Jiren's doing for example we have we've seen instant transmission before and when you see instant transmission you're like wow what's faster than instant transmission you go from one place to another instantaneously right but it still has to abide by the laws of time. It's not outside of time itself. Uh, even even uh, Hit's time skip is probably the closest that we've seen of something that kind of transcends time to a degree. But I still think it has to abide by the laws. When, when Hit is doing his time skip, Jiren is beyond the time skip. Jiren's abilities, it's almost like Jiren can, in a sense, pull himself out of the, the dimensional holdings that Hit is on beyond that and sort of see everything that he's doing and attack him outside of that. It's very important to understand the reality of the fighting power of a guy like Jiren when we're talking about essentially universal power levels here. Basically, like Vim was saying before, they're really trying to establish that Jiren is just beyond anything that we can understand. I mean, Hit was what we thought was going to be beyond anything because he stops time. No, like, how do you defeat somebody who can stop time? You just don't think that that's even possible because we don't think of anything being beyond the freezing of time. But Toriyama is taking this to the next step and saying, you know what, we're going to have things that transcend that, things that can go beyond that, just showing that, guess what, things can be even be stronger than that, and Goku is going to become stronger than that. They just want to push us to the next level. It might just, it might be too that Toriyama's at the place now where he he wants to bring the the universe that he's created, the Dragon Ball universe, and he wants to say, listen, it's going to hit the place of, and and this is the whole point, this the the battle of the gods, right? This whole thing, this universal tournament. I think it's all been put into place to get the the characters of Dragon Ball, specifically guys like Goku. Um, to a place where they are at the power levels 
of the gods at universal power levels because up until this point they haven't been there they've been extremely strong and it's been amazing to watch the storyline occur but they've never really reached those power levels and i think toriyama now has made the decision a long time ago that it's time for the characters of the dragon ball universe to to breach these types of levels and that is what we're seeing and he's painting the picture through jiren he wants us to see the uh the power of jiren as the the litmus test as the indicator to where goku is going well how strong is really goku well just look at how strong jiren is how strong is goku gonna be just look at how strong jiren is goku will go there and beyond so what does that mean for goku that i honestly it means he's going to be stronger than the gods um that means he's if if Really, what we know of, of the Dragon Ball universe right now is the gods and the angels, the Grand Priest, um, and Zeno. He he's gonna be just below the angels. I, I mean, I, I don't. I, he's gonna be like nearly the tenth strongest person in the Dragon Ball universe, essentially. If it's everything we know of, I mean, he's gonna be multi universal in power. I mean, that's what we're getting to here, guys. So so intense, intense. Uh, fighting levels and power levels here so very important uh, episode it, with that especially watching jiren handle hits time skip and time attacks like they're nothing to him so um keep that in mind because right now we're we're just waiting we're waiting for goku to power back up and to get back in there against jiren so we're excited to see that uh leave your comments below guys what do you think about all this you ha we finally hit it guys i think we're hitting those universal power levels what are your thoughts on this why do you think toriyama is doing this please leave a comment below we love to read about those again like and subscribe to our videos share with others so that we can continue to give you some uh, insight into things that we're seeing so that you guys have information to share with others as well i hope you enjoyed this one this is Vinny, and this is joe until next time